topic is Pattern Plot Examples in the Unit Number Nine Stability in the Frequency Domain. In the last session, we will study about the different Nyquist plot criteria and how the equation of the number of encirclement. So the Nyquist stability criteria works on the principle of the argument. It states that if there are T number of poles and Z number of zeros are enclosed by the S plane, closed part and the corresponding G of S, H of S plane must encircle the origin B minus Z times Z means we can write the number of encirclement N is equal to T minus Z. So, this is some rules to draw or to solve the transfer function and we can draw the Nyquist plot. So, the step number one is find M means the magnitude and the phase angle value of the frequency 0 and the infinite. Now, find the value of the M and phi for the different value of the frequency between 0 and infinite as parameter of the transfer function R. No, so this is the same rules in the polar plot. Now step number 2, we have to separate the real and imaginary part of the G of J omega. Now then step number 3, find the frequency at the intersection with the imaginary axis by equating the real part G of J omega is 0 and define the magnitude M at this frequency and plot on the G J omega plane. Now the step number 4, find the frequency at the intersection with the real axis by equating the real part of the G J omega is 0, find the magnitude M at the frequency and plot there on the G J omega plane and the step number 5 is find the asymptotic magnitude by substituting frequency at which the M is equal to infinite in the real and the imaginary part of the G J omega. So this is the difference uh, step to draw the Nyquist plot. So example number 1, investigate the stability of the closed loop control system and the equation is given G of S, H of S is equal to 50 upon S plus 1, S plus 2. So first of all, we have to write the equation in the form of G of J omega. So first of all, put S is equal to J omega. So we can get G of J omega, H of J omega is equal to 50 upon J omega plus 1, J omega plus 2. Okay, if we rewrite this equation, so we can get G of J omega, H of J omega is equal to 50 is our real part. And here the imaginary part is 0. So we can write the equation like this. 50 plus J 0 upon J omega plus 1 and J omega plus 2. Now our first step is we have to find the equation of magnitude. And magnitude is nothing but the mode of G of J omega H of J omega. So we can get mode of 50 plus J omega is nothing but the 50 and mode of J omega plus 1. That becomes omega square plus 1 under root of omega square plus 1 and the next is mode of J omega plus 2. That means uh, J square omega square plus 2 square under root of. So we can get under root of omega square plus 4. So this is the equation of the magnitude. Now next we have to find the equation of the phase angle. So phase angle is the nothing but the how we find the phase angle. So phase is equal to suppose our equation is x plus i y. So the equation of the phase will become tan inverse imaginary part upon the real part. So for our equation we can get for the numerator we can get tan inverse imaginary part is 0 that means 0 upon 20 minus in the numerator j omega plus 1 that means we can get tan inverse the imaginary part is omega and the real part is 1 minus tan inverse omega by 2. So simplify this equation we can get tan inverse 0 by 20 that means 10 inverse 0 and the value of the 10 inverse 0 is equal to 0. So we can get minus 10 inverse omega minus 10 inverse omega by 2. Now we have to find the value of the magnitude and the phase angle. 
for the different value of the frequency so we can start with the frequency 0 and end with the infinite so first of all we can put omega is equal to 0 in the magnitude equation so here you can see that we can put omega is equal to 0 that means under root of 0 square plus 1 under root of 0 square plus 4 that means it's 2 and 50 by 2 it, it means we can get magnitude might be 5 now we can put omega is equal to infinite in this magnitude equation so here you can see that if we can put omega is equal to infinite so we can get 50 upon infinite that means the magnitude it becomes 0 now in the phase angle first of all we can put omega is equal to 0 so minus 10 inverse 0 minus 10 inverse 0 by 2 and the value of the 10 inverse 0 is equal to 0 so we can get the 0 angle and we can put omega is equal to infinite that means phi is equal to minus 10 inverse infinite minus 10 inverse infinite by 2 so we can get the value of the 10 inverse infinite is equal to 90 so minus 90 minus 90 it becomes minus 180 okay so for the different different value of omega we can get the magnitude at the phase angle now the step number 3 we have to separate the real and the imaginary part so for that we have to simplify this equation d of s h of s is equal to 50 upon s square plus 2s plus s plus 2 so we can get g of s h of s is equal to 50 upon s square plus 3s plus 2 now we can put s is equal to j omega so we can get g of j omega h of j omega is equal to 50 upon j square omega square plus 3 j omega plus 2 and as you know j square is equal to minus 1 so we can get g of j omega h of j omega is equal to 50 upon minus omega square plus 3j omega plus 2 now we have to separate the real and imaginary part in the denominator so we can get g of j omega h of j omega is equal to 50 upon minus omega square plus 2 plus 3j omega now we have to multiply and divide this denominator term so we can get omega square plus 2 minus 3j omega upon minus omega square plus 2 minus 3j omega okay so we can equate this we can get minus 50 omega square plus 100 a this is my real part minus 150 j omega and in the denominator we can get minus omega square plus 2 square plus 3 j omega square and j square is equal to minus 1 so we can get 9 omega h2 square okay so we can say uh, uh, separate the real and imaginary part so we can get minus 50 omega square plus 100 upon minus omega square plus 2 whole square plus 9 omega square minus 150 j omega divided by minus omega square plus 2 whole square plus 9 omega square now Okay, now the next step is we have to put the real part is equal to 0. That means minus 50 omega square plus 100 upon minus omega square plus 2 whole square plus 9 omega square is equal to 0. So we can get minus 50 omega square plus 100 divided by minus omega square plus 2 whole square plus 9 omega square is equal to 0 so denominator is equal to 0 so we can get minus 50 omega square is equal to minus 100 that means 50 omega square is equal to 100 that means omega square is equal to 2 so we can get omega is equal to root 2 radian per second okay so whenever the real part is equal to 0 our frequency is root 2 radian per second second now put omega is equal to root 2 in the imaginary part okay 
so our imaginary part is equal to minus 150 omega j upon minus omega square plus 2 whole square plus 9 omega square now in this equation we can put omega is equal to root 2 that means minus 150j into root 2 upon minus root 2 whole square plus 2 whole square plus 9 root 2 square so simplify this equation we can get the value minus 11.78j now our last step is we have to draw a Nyquist plot using this equation okay okay so this is my critical point value point and it is the value is minus 1 plus j 0 okay so first of all we have to draw the magnitude and phase equation when omega is equal to 0 magnitude is 25 and the angle is 0 okay so in the plot this is my real part this is my imaginary part this is the 0 degree minus 90 degree this is minus 180 degree and this is minus 270. So, whenever the uh, omega is equal to 0, magnitude is 25. Suppose this is 25 and angle is 0. Now, next is whenever omega is equal to infinite, magnitude 0 and the angle is 180. So, this is near about, this is my 180 angle and this is my magnitude is 0 okay so the graph is like this manner okay and this value is minus 11.78 j as you know okay so this is the mirror image of this graph so this is my Nyquist plot of this particular equation so using the transfer function first of all we have to convert the transfer function into j omega form then we have to find the equation of the magnitude and the phase angle and after that for the different different value of the frequency starting from the zero and ending with the infinite we have to find the value of the magnitude and the phase angle after that we have to separate the real and the imaginary part and we can get the two term first of the of the real term and the second is the imaginary term after that we can put the real part is equal to zero and solve this equation we can get the sum value of the omega now this value put in the imaginary part and we have to find the value in the terms of the imaginary value okay and this is the final step the graph of the Nyquist plot where the omega uh, is equal to 0 magnitude is 25 and angle is 0 and when the omega is equal to infinite magnitude 0 and angle is 120 and this is the mirror image of this uh, circle so here you can see that the number of n circlement n is equal to p minus z here you, you can see that in this n circlement uh, there is a no poles are located in the right hand plane so the value of the p is equal to 0 also there is a no 0 are located in the right hand plan so z is equal to 0 so we can get a n is equal to 0 that means our system is stable system okay clear and the direction is like this manner here you can see that also the value of the z is equal to 0 and this is the condition for the stable system thank you everyone